Good morning. We are here at the booth of uh, Nano Dimension SM Tech. Nano Dimension has acquired SM Tech two years ago. And uh, I'm talking here with uh, Valentin Strotz. He is general manager of Nano Dimension GmbH in Germany. And uh, you're responsible for a company which was originally founded in Israel and uh, is focused on 3D uh, um, printing and uh, focus on 3D printing for electronics, printed circuit boards, which is quite new. And I, I think there are only a few companies around who uh, can do that. Um, so could you please, uh, in, a, in a few sentences, explain uh, what's all behind this technology? Uh, sure. So good morning and uh, uh, thank you very much for, for coming here to our booth. Nano Dimension was originally founded as a company to revolutionize electronics manufacturing, building the first 3D printer for electronics. And today we sell and promote a process which we call AME, Additively Manufactured Electronics, that takes digital files, Gerber files, ODB++ or mechanical cut files to a 3D printer that then jets simultaneously silver ink as conductive material and a photopolymer as dielectric material to create, for example, high layer count PCBs. So 50 layers in three millimeters is very easy for us. Also buried and blind we are as we're building it up additively from the ground. There's no drilling, no etching, no electroplating. And we are also able to do electronic designs that were not possible before or only very complicated. Mm -hmm. So for example, by the AME technology, we can print very long flat coils on very small space mm -hmm. and integrate them in uh, an electronics package that includes circuitry, but that might also include embedded components, that might also include heterogeneous integration of different components such as optics. And Nano Dimension has the vision to change how the world is manufacturing. So we, we believe that in the future manufacturing will follow a similar path like the printing industry. Today you will only send a PDF around the world and it will be printed at location where needed. So in the future electronic components or modules or even systems or product might be digitally saved in digital inventory and then sent all around the world and be produced on demand where needed when needed okay um, but in spite of these impressive uh, achievements uh, there are all, always some disadvantages uh, of the 3D uh, manufactured printing circuit board against the traditional printed circuit boards. And you ide identified in one of these hurdles and announced uh, here at Productronica a big uh, breakthrough in technology. Uh, could you explain what uh, this is about? Sure. It's, it's actually two things. Uh, resulting in a better product that comes out of the machine. So there is the challenge in making sure that we actually software-wise can integrate all different EDA programs, Zuken, Mentor, Altium, with also 3D component designs, like having a 3D printed coil or capacitor in that. And therefore we launched Flight Hub, an optimized software that allows the users to seamlessly integrate with the existing EDA tools and optimize the process. And that comes along with several process optimizations we have done in the machine uh, with the help of artificial intelligence of a company that we acquired called DeepCube to optimize the process stability and yield. And the most important announcement for me personally and all for all of us is a new dielectric material called INSU 200. And INSU 200 is uh, basically bridging the gap of the shortcomings that we had compared to traditional circuit boards, FR4-like, epoxy and glass fiber. So 
In the past, we were requiring a low temperature system and that, uh, or, or hand soldering, but this is not feasible for modern board designs that include several BGAs or very small components. So now with a new material, we have a material that has a dielectric constant, an epsilon R of about four, similar to most FR4 materials, and a TG of 190 to 200 degrees, which allows us to go to standard reflow processes. So saying you can use your 3D printer, you print the file overnight, and then you can go to your normal SMT line and populate the board with the normal components as you would do it. Um, and for us it's crucial to develop those materials in order to uh, not only have rapid prototyping but in the future production of advanced circuits. So you develop the inks on yourself? Yes, so Nano Dimension invested significantly uh, into the research of the new materials. As we understand, the materials and process are key to really changing it. And uh, if, if you look at the circuit board as it is today, it had about, let's say, 80 or 90 years to mature the process. Um, so it will take some time for us to really be on par, while in certain areas, when it's about novel design features that you can only achieve with uh, very few hard challenges or uh, it's even not possible to be easy. Let's say a 50 layer board is for us the same complexity as a two layer board. Imagine you can have a complex 50 layer board design, you load it on the machine, you push a button and independent how many buried or blind wires you have, after 24 hours you have it in the hand for testing. Mm -hmm. Um, which markets are you aiming at now? So the first markets, as this is a new technology, are traditional academia research, but also government organizations from defense, advanced research, aerospace companies. We see a lot of interest of space companies. So for example, we had an event on Monday and uh, the European Space Agency has a strategic program for 3D printing triple E components. And the first things are actually already tested in space. Another area is advanced medical products. So for example, we work with a, um, a young company from Dresden called Celtro. And what they are doing is uh, energy harvesting of biological cells. So the cells in our body communicate over electrical energy and they found a method to harvest them. So together with us, a new package was created integrating energy harvesting, the active component, the passive components and the circuitry in a very small package that can go over a catheter to your heart. And this uh, pacemaker will pace your heart and never needs a battery change. Okay. Uh, do you know how many Dragonfly 3D printers are working in the field? About 90, mainly in the United States, in, in Europe and in, in Europe mainly in Germany. So a few names that I can say from Germany are um, the Fraunhofer Institute IMTE or Fraunhofer Institute IZFP, uh, the University of Stuttgart, they have a special project for the research on, on quantum sensors um, and uh, several other uh, leading research institutes and organizations. So that's the reason you open an office here in Munich? Yes, I mean Munich is the, is the heart of Europe mm -hmm. and uh, offers us great access to our main markets mm -hmm. and most of all allowing us to invite customers and prospects and interested people to come visiting. So I hope one day uh, we can host you and we can show you all the technology. I'm looking forward to it. Um, how, how is the interest here from prospective customers? The interest is amazing. So, so we didn't expect so much traffic to happen. But I mean, the, the idea of having 3D printed electronics is fascinating for everybody. But in the past, we had the barrier that it was not compatible with standard SMT process. Now, as we bridge this gap, 
Um, it's very hard for us to keep up with all the required uh, information. And, and, and you think uh, the uh, uh, 3D printed circuit boards will get into production uh, in due course? At, at some points. Uh, if, if you think of the 75 billion PCB market as a pyramid, where you have on, on the highest top the specialities, the high mix low volume, and on the bottom you have the million-wise consumer electronic products, um, we will start from the top and target the high end, the complex solutions. I think we will get a, a fair share of those in existing markets and, and new markets, but I don't think it will replace the one, two, four layer circuit boards in any way, mm -hmm. so it will coexist. Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay, so thank you very much, have a nice show and uh, all the best.